Today we're gonna talk about Helm 3, the package manager for Kubernetes. It allows you to create new Helm charts, package and distribute those charts, install and uninstall charts into Kubernetes cluster and manage the release cycle of those charts. In this video, we will create our own Helm chart, Hello World, and install it into Kubernetes cluster. As always, you can find all the instructions and code in my GitHub repository. So when you have uh, already Helm CLI installed, the good place to start is to add stable Helm repository uh, by running the following command. Now we have access to all uh, Helm charts available in this uh, repository. And let's take a look what we have there. We can run Helm search repo and it's gonna give us a list of Helm charts and we can install any of those. Okay, let's go ahead and create our own Helm chart by running Helm create hello world. And it's gonna generate a bunch of files for us. And let's take a look what we have now. Now we have generated the um, Helm chart itself. So under the charts, you can find, or you can even place some chart dependencies for this chart. And under the templates, you will find some different files such as tests. Test will run once when you install this chart in order to verify that it's up and ready. And here on the helpers template, uh, those other uh, helpers are like a functions, variables that you can use throughout your Helm. Uh, chart. For example, under this deployment.yaml, so it will generate a bunch of different files and deployment, uh, horizontal pod after scaler, ingress, but it's not necessary that you would use them. So this is the template, right? And uh, sometimes at the top, you will see that this um, ingress, this particular ingress will be generated only in that case if you will enable it. But by default, it's going to be set to false. And let those nodes, for example, those nodes are useful and because templates have access to all those variables, these nodes will be printed out when you install this chart. In some cases, it will print out some useful commands that you can run right away and get access to the uh, maybe application itself. And here in the service and service account, as you can see, those are templates. And under the Helm ignore, this is similar to Git ignore, right? So uh, this will just ignore when you package your Helm chart, it will ignore those files that you will uh, specify here. Chart YAML, this is the main metadata file that is gonna be used to distribute your chart. So this is the name, description, type, and this is the version of the Helm, and this is the version of the application itself. And under the values, this is the config file for your Helm. And here you can find default values for your application. And by default, it uses Nginx and some other default parameters. And you can see that some of them, well, most of them, set to enable false for example after scaling is enabled only if you set it to true same thing with the ingress so right now it's false all right so uh, now we have the uh, the whole world chart we're not going to be using the default namespace we're going to create its own namespace uh, dev namespace and deploy that helm chart to that namespace in order to run and create the namespace we need to execute the following command kubectl create namespace dev and uh, namespace is created and now finally we can actually install our helm and in order to do that we need to run helm install dash f we can provide our variables and we're going to specify that our namespace is default and this is the name of the release and here the directory where your um, Helm is located. Let's install this chart. Like I said, those nodes actually printed out here, so you can uh, access your application by running the following command. You can get the pod name by running this command, and you also can get the, the port. And at the end, it will generate the command to port forward and access it locally. All right, so let's uh, let's go to the local host, port 8080, 
and we have access to our nginx that was installed and let's cancel it and let's list helm charts in dev namespace by running this command and we're gonna get uh, the release name hello world and this is namespace some information about this this particular release if you like this video you can watch another my video how to install uh, ingress with helm thanks for watching